a woman moving on without like you know ending what she got going on she's just looking for that next one that's gonna you know replace this one you know because you know it's hard to find a legit man to move on to so you know you keep this one so let him think he's comfortable no you don't have a com- you don't have a backup i know this girl i know this one girl who be cheating but she says she loves that nigga so much she is and she not, probably do she's not gonna let him go what? She what? probably does know my man. Know, no. Huh? Does he know or no? Oh, I doubt it. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be there. He knew. Know. Nah, some niggas will stay. Oh, yeah. Niggas I'm will just going to cheat too. Or they both cheat right. on each other. Yeah. And and that see, type of relationship. What kind of relationship is that? Exactly. That's something you got to learn from. Like, I had to learn from that before. Like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna cheat back, bro. Like, you cheat your fucking... I'm not going to cheat this back. Is, this is... Mm, no. I don't... So mm, now, I... I now, if you cheat, I'll just leave. And then go do my thing rather than do my thing while I'm with you. Yes, exactly. Because if I do my thing while I'm with you, I'm cheating. But if I do my thing while I'm not with you, I'm not cheating because I'm not with you. True. For the culture. Back at it again as the For the Culture podcast. Today I got Stick to the Models. How long it been, guys? It's been like two years since we had our last podcast. Yeah, two two years, 2019. In 2021 right now. All right. People have been asking for a part two, so. We're uh, here. Yeah, COVID, <laughs> quarantine, all that, been blocking the way, but we here now. A lot yeah. has changed. Oh, a lot has changed. Wow, I see that. Look at the numbers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, my God. So, uh, how's everybody? Like, how life been for everybody? So you guys, I've seen you guys clearly still doing the model thing, and i seen you got the clothing brand thing, yeah. too, now. Yeah. It's yours, or you, like, just promoting it to someone? It's mine. Okay, go ahead. Plug it right now. Uh, the first one is the streetwear, Never Lost Child, and the other one is um, the luxury brand, Bound for London. Woo! Okay. So I'm running both of those by my lonely type shit. Yeah. Okay, what what made you call it Lost Child? Like, like Never Lost Child. It's actually my slogan too. It's just like everybody, everyone is a Never Lost Child until they find their purpose. Gotcha. You feel me? It's like you out here moving with no purpose, you just lost. You feel me? So. That's my little story, and I've been a lost child, and that. I like that. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. All right. Um. So, clearly, uh, there's three of you guys here. Uh, we got Joel that's doing this thing right now, and yeah. Milan that's no longer with you guys no more. Yeah. Sadly, sadly, we yeah. miss her. Sadly, miss her though. <laughs> oh, she's doing good. Okay. Uh, oh, Joel doing good too. You still keep in touch with her a little? Or no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, be on the, I, I keep in touch with Joel though. Joel, I be, Joel stay popping. So I always see Joel. I rap at his house almost every day. Go to the gym. So I always keep in touch with Joel. Y'all be playing ball? Y'all be like just lifting weights and shit? I just rap ball. Yeah, I got a slap too. I just got a first slap too. First you got. got My, I, I, I play volleyball now. I don't, I don't do basketball. Yeah, boy, but I see you all shooting around at, like on Saturdays and stuff at the park <laughs> with your little cousins or something. Oh, oh. oh me, I, I done switched it up volleyball like two weeks ago. For real? But between volleyball? basketball, basketball still my sport though. But volleyball, volleyball, I'm trying, I'm trying you to be jumping at the gym. I'm trying right. to be different. You feel me? Let the people know, bro, because you look good now, bro. Like no homo, but like that's that's <laughs> after I put him in the gym. You oh, know, that's my okay. workout buddy. All right. Yeah, you can say. Uh, I guess quarantine, like you feel me? I was looking at my body. I was like, I might as well like get active. Trying to be like them, like they body wise <laughs> and stuff. He was actually a model and stuff, but I'm gonna stick to managing and stuff. But yeah, I've been doing like workouts, eating right and stuff, type uh-huh. shit. You know, the angle out, that's why I, that's why I felt the quarantine though. It showed people a lot about themselves, you feel me? So, right. Like what they need to change in life, what they gotta do, you feel me? Like it just, I feel like after quarantine, everybody came out a different person. Uh-huh. You feel me? I know some people came out like, not the same person they was. They don't like the new person is, but a lot of people came out quarantine like a better person. A lot of people came out quarantine a better person. You well, it kind of forced people, some people to hustle. Like you had to find right. Yeah. Like I feel like it, it forced them to hustle. It forced them to do like self reflection. It forced them to like really like do the like the shadow work that they find themselves. Like, yeah, find, find themselves. Because that's what it is. Find a purpose. Okay. And now you're completely vegan. <laughs> oh nah! No, oh, I, so I, 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 I started off vegan, and then something called ketosis. It's like a keto diet. I think that's what really like made me lose weight and stuff. Cause when I was vegan, I had a scar on none, so I probably was not like looking at my. Uh, I was having. He was actually the first person to tell me like, "Man, you lost weight." 
And then I went to keto, and that's when I see myself, like, I was losing weight and stuff. But now I'm just, like, watch out what I eat and stuff. I don't go too hard like I used to, but it was really keto that helped it out, though. What made you say, hey, I got to start eating cleaner? Like, what changed? Like, like I said, like, when I was, we was stuck in the house for, like, three months, four months, I, all we did was just chill inside, eating stuff. And, like, as soon as the back door opened, not back door, but outside opened, I just started jogging and stuff, and then it came slowly, and then my brother wanted to hop on too, and then we just went on our grind together. No more grill, so it's fine. <laughs> Dang, it's crazy. You know, I don't really eat Haitian food like that, but yeah, I had I had to cut on rice, bread, oh. like, I'm not going to lie. When I look back at it now, like, it was hard. Like, it was having days where I was fasting. Like, Saturday, I wouldn't work out. I will eat some, like, straight string cheese and water, like, something I wouldn't do it again, but... For me, it you worked said out. String cheese, cheese and water. Yeah, like if I was fasting, like I would try to do. I was trying out different diet type stuff until I seen like keto was like really it. Oh, what the it keto was. Was what really did it for you? Yeah, cause I was trying out like four different diets and stuff, but yeah, keto was the one that really had my main result. There's not wrong with fasting. I try to do fasting at least once or twice a year, but I usually try to go with like fruits or something like that. Just it, like, it don't be hard for you. It is hard, but um, you ever yeah, try how long? How long you did it for? Uh, I think August, that's when I started working now. I think November is really when I actually do the keto. And I think by March, I was in my right body or whatever. So now I'm trying to tone up and stuff. No, how long you did the fasting for? Oh. I was about to say, nigga, what do you have to do for? <laughs> oh, no, no. Like, I work out five days a week. So Saturday, Sunday, I'll try to do fasting when I'm not working out because, like, you need energy and stuff. So, like, it'll be days on Saturday and Sunday. So probably one or two days, like, out of the week. You still be getting the blood flow or you know? Like, oh, and I'll, I'll do it no more, bed, but like, blood still be flowing, right? I mean, because yeah, I, I, I only do it like two days out of the week, so like out of the five days, like I'll eat my energy, yeah, because like, you need some blood, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. get right, yeah, 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 but I was only doing it for like a month though, so it was only for a month I was doing it. So, what's how many weeks is a month, like four, three, four? Depends four. which month it is, yeah, three to four. I have a lot of fasting to discipline though, yeah, yeah it does. My yeah. Saying, yeah. I wouldn't do it right now, but you ever tried dry fasting? Was that mm. dry fasting? Shout out to my barber, Steve. Shout out to <laughs> Listen, Steve, I remember one time I, I went to go get a cut. You feel me? I see Steve had some time on his watch. I was that. He was like, oh, how many days I went without like no food? Like, he what? Went, I think he went like 72 hours with straight water. So, I, so people do that. I tried. I, 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 I probably did that. Yeah, once to ask, I, I, don't, I, I don't, thought you his workout, but it was what happened. <laughs> me? I don't know. I maintain a good figure at all times. I just, you know, get in the gym to like, you know, feel like, you know, mm-hmm. I did something. But sometimes I send him alone. It's, <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. I like can't get up because he likes to go early in the morning. Me, That's what it is. I like hosting like parties and stuff. So when I get in, it's like three, four. You're already tired by the time he's like trying what? to get in. And he's calling, texting, you ready to go to the gym? I'm like, no, <laughs> let's try. I don't know. I think for me, like in the morning or like as soon as I wake up, like that's the first time I go to the gym. So I'd be trying to go like yeah, seven or eight. So. I'd be like tired, like if I was trying to do something in the morning. I could play ball like late at night and stuff like that. But the gym, like I guess since I, we already did everything what we had to do that day, I'd be like worn out kind of. Yeah. And what I realized is like when you go to the gym in the morning, like you're ready to start your day. Yeah, like yeah, you're not even it's tired. It's a good like set tone. Yeah. <laughs> Those days I go to the gym in the morning is my most productive. Days. What? I get so much done in so many sets. There's certain patterns that I'll be like, like rich people or people that's like very successful that I'll be wondering why they do certain things. And one of the things they do is they read a book in the morning and they work out in the morning. Yeah. And you wonder why, why they don't do that late night, stuff like right. that. It's because they want to, like you said, you have a productive day. Yeah. And they start exactly. their day early, like five o'clock. Like yeah. I start my week early. Most of them sleep at like 10, 10 nine, yeah. Yeah. So That's why. Yeah. Like with me, like. One thing that's like a like a detrimental key that's like been helping me be productive this year was like every Sunday, you feel me? I write down my goals and what I gotta do. You feel me? Like anything I gotta do, and I, I write it down. And like whether I don't get it done, like that day, I need to I need to get right. it done. Right. Like, Manifestation. And I like I wake up early, and um, I try to do everything in one day. If I don't, then I don't overwhelm myself. But I don't try to force it. You feel me? I just be like okay, I got enough done for today. Feel me, but I most definitely like that's something that I most definitely like started doing. And, like, you feel me? It's been you know, you're gonna go through that certain um stage of life where like you're gonna have more responsibilities without your parents, and it's gonna be like, damn, you don't want to deal with it. You're gonna keep on pushing it off to the side till it becomes like urgent. You feel me? And that's something like 
ever since I started doing that, every, all my responsibilities just become easy. Easy, yeah. You feel me? So you gotta do it. Yeah. Sure. Right. Especially running a business, bro. You gotta stay on top of everything. Filling out paperwork, all that. Yeah, we all do it. All those going on. Right. It's just gonna sit there <laughs> it's on and it's you. gonna pile up on you. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, well, R. P. to Michael K. Williams. Um, oh. Uh, Oh, you guys heard that too, yeah. stuff like that. Indeed. Yeah, that was the the what the wire was the best show I've seen in that. Yeah. Me per, per, uh, personally, I don't know about you guys if you guys seen shows or movies like that, but I, I seen I'm, a few movies that's coming. It was a movie, I don't know what it was, but like I don't know if he looked like an actor, but when I seen that on the, my tail and stuff, like damn or, Yeah, it kinda messed me up when I seen that. It was a short movie, like I used to watch and he was in it. I don't remember what it was, but I tried looking it up, I couldn't find it though. Yeah, yeah it was crazy too because I, I was just talking about him because I was watching another show. Uh, I forgot the name of the show, but um, I was like, "What was it? You know his name? What's the Lovecraft name? Country. Lovecraft Country. He's okay. in there. Oh, I didn't get into that. I didn't get it's good. I, yeah, it's pretty good until I seen him kissing the figure. That's oh, I, see, no, <laughs> that's what I have to turn so it off. It wasn't just like <laughs> okay, I have nothing against like yeah gay people or like Thanks, yeah or them kissing on like TV and stuff like that, even though I probably won't even, I probably pause it or skip over it. It was the way he did it. It wasn't regular. It was like, it was like a make out. Nah, it was like a freaky, like, so I don't like that. Nah, it was like, I, right, remember up. I told you, he said it like this. <laughs> Put it in the, I was like, oh, no. What? Yeah, it was like, damn, I can't believe they put this on TV. I like, can't believe it's had to be like throwback or like it's nah, recent. No, nah, this is recent. Yeah. They made them do that stuff. I can't believe they put a lot of that on TV. So that was through, that threw me off. I haven't watched uh episode since. But other than that, I think he's an amazing actor. It's just I'd be confused. Like I was wondering, like, is he gay low key or uh, But I seen an interview where he said, nah, I just like doing uh I like doing different roles. Yeah, or that paycheck was looking pretty that nice is, to did, not do well, that. The Wire, was, I think, was his first show, and he was like, it was either that, take the money, or starve. You feel me? He was like, I'm yeah. trying to eat. It's he true. probably got kids and stuff, too. Yeah, right? that, he got people to take care of. And he was he also said that he did get molested when he was younger. Or I don't know what Yeah, there's a lot of rappers and actors coming out about that, which is sad. Yeah. But it's like, I still don't like I don't like them putting all this out on TV. Like, it's just too much. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of kids are probably, like, going to be confused. They're going to think it's normal. And I don't think it's normal, like, at all. So, you personally, you talking to a dude, and he does roles like that. I can't. Do you think it differently, or? <laughs> no, I can't. So like, I, I get serious? that they're, like, no, I can't even be with you. Like, like, he's just acting. He's big for swimming I don't. Role. I don't think it's acting. It's, like, more of a man thing like i feel like i feel like if you're straight and they're like not even forcing you because if you go about it to do it yourself like there's something like you're not telling me because <laughs> you know? no straight man's going to be willing to just you know do that no matter what it is that's your manhood you're playing with so it's like i don't know some people I, say it's an art so you got to be able to art, it. yeah. like, yeah. it could be like yeah. that that's why i said it's your preference that's how you view it but me yeah, i'm I pretty sure it's like a lot of like Actors as gay and stuff. There's a lot yeah. of people scared to come yeah. out. There's a lot of, like, With the whole acting thing, what I like, I see a lot of interviews. They say it takes a lot to really get into like character. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can't even get out. It happens yeah. in your daily life. Like, yeah, that's you have to crazy. become that person. Yeah, like, literally. Right, especially when you're playing. Like, so then you have you have multiple role. personalities. Like I feel like that would develop. Some type of like mental illness to me. Like hmm. he also did say he needs to do detox after each character because characters like that, like mm-hmm. he, like, can imagine you doing it. You're not gay, but you have to play like you're gay. Yeah. You have to make it look real. Yeah. So you have to detox yourself, your brain. So like, you fuck around and yeah. get all set. What yeah. would y'all do that? <laughs> nah, I would. I was about to ask I... you. So if somebody says, "Hey, a million dollar check, first um, acting role, a million dollars." No. No. Just a peck on the cheek, like I hear, like, like, like Will Smith did in that say? movie, <laughs> like that movie. He kissed that guy with one his scene. I forgot the name of the movie, but I think it was like one little quick kiss or something like that. On on the cheek? No, nah, like on the cheek. On the cheek, <laughs> like you say, you think about it though. <laughs> like in the lips, little oh, lips. God, I can't. Oh God! I no, I, I, I can't. For you could have done either. No. <laughs> About nah, that million dollars, you don't know what else. That's what they saying. just gotta see it first, yeah. right? Hopefully, I can get like commission for like helping somebody on, like 
bring them a person or a gay person to do it. Mm-hmm. Maybe or not. Me personally, I, I me personally, I just wouldn't kiss no man. I wouldn't even kiss my own dad. I'm lit. <laughs> you would kiss your own son? Yeah. Okay, so so That's your dad good. could do that too then. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's, the same it's thing. a certain age though. I wouldn't oh, probably like younger, younger but not, not younger. younger. Yeah, yeah younger. my dad, yeah. my dad. Yeah. Yeah, my dad, of course, my, guy, my dad gave me a kiss when I was younger, but at a certain age, like, nah. Like, nigga, give me a hug. Right, <laughs> give me a hug. What's up? Hey, yeah. Dap me up. And, like, people say it's being comfortable with your kids. Like, if my dad was to give me a kiss on my cheek or my forehead, like, even, like, a couple years back before my dad went to prison, like, he would give me a kiss on my forehead and shit or, like, kiss on my cheek. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. Know? But so, it's, like, a certain age, like, I wouldn't kiss my son on his lips or something. My dad stopped that shit once I got a certain age. Right. Which is only right. Is your dad, I don't see nothing wrong is your dad out now or is he still serving time? Honestly, his he, he um they moved him from the state prison into the Broward County Main Jail recently and they sent my, my OG some type of email about him maybe getting out. You feel me? And oh. a lawyer's working on his case. And so, his, so he got a, he got his he go to court next month, October twenty something. So hopefully that boy get out. It's How been, long has it been? It's been 10 years. They gave him 15. Damn, I'm Free surprised that they tried to use that COVID thing to get him out early or something, or like probation or something. I don't know, but I hope he get out this year. If he get, I feel like if he get out, it's like, because he's one of the reasons why I do what I do, you feel me? Because I was able to start the Philly brand shit like 2018 when I graduated high school. And then at the end of last year, I was just going through so much shit like with my life. And he was like, we just saw it on the phone. We was having like a 30, it was like a 30 minute combo each call. You feel me? He called the second time. Oh, I'm about to burn. Yeah, let it out, man. Yeah. Let it out. So um, it was like a 30 minute combo each call. And um, what he said, he was like, oh, you be procrastinating about this clothing brand shit. When I call you back, I want to hear like some progress. This was like December 22nd, you feel me? It was like December 20th. Yeah, last year, 2020. You feel oh, me? It was like. Yeah, like twenty December twenty second to December twentieth. You feel me? I'm thinking he's gonna call back Christmas Day or New Year's. He didn't call back at all. He called back January. By the time, but that whole time I'm like, okay, he didn't call back. Let me get this done. Okay, he didn't call back. Let me get that done. Let me get all this done. By the time he called back, I already done like put the money into the business. I had my LLC, my EIM, my bank account set up. I had all the paperwork done. I, I, by the time he called back, I had merch on the way about to start my business. You feel me? So I was like, I take I take his word and I put it on the pedestal. Like I take his word. Like I don't I don't take that shit lightly. Like anything my pops say, I take it serious. You feel me? So when he called back and I told him all that, it was like it felt good to me. You feel me? Because whether I want to admit it or not, no matter how old I am, I still want to make him proud. Type shit. I feel like that too. Like parents wise, like I think like that's the first people I want to make proud. Like parents, like business wise or anything. Like that's the first people I want to make proud. Yeah. Like beside a kid that. I don't got no kids, but like for my kids, like parents, make sure they pop first. You feel me? And my accomplishments. And it comes to times where like we gotta check up on our parents. Like I checked up on him. I was like, yo, like he always giving me advice and shit. You feel me? I asked him how he doing and that. He was like, as long as I'm straight, he's straight. So I was like, okay, then I gotta make sure I'm straight out here, so he could be straight. That you just brought up. We never really check up on our parents. Yeah. Like we, we always looking at like they're the parents. Yeah. Like they're mm-hmm. human beings just like us. So that is true. We should check their exactly. I feel like I feel like the relationships a lot of people who do have toxic parents, you gotta get to know how your parents grew up. You gotta know what they went through, you feel me? Exactly. Like my OG, she can be toxic at times, but it is just like the way she showed love. Like it's different because of the way she grew up. She grew up so hard, you feel me? She had it hard when she grew yeah. up. So it's like certain things she might not be good at. So we be working on shit, you feel me? We be talking about it. It's like you gotta be patient with everybody. No matter how old, how old somebody is, they still have some type of way to mature in, in different aspects in life, you feel me? So I just like that's just something I just learned recently. You feel me? You gotta just be patient with everybody. Because everybody got a reason why they did something. Oh, why did that? boy sound like he growing up. What? I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, I've been, <laughs> that boy glowing up. Yeah, I've been appreciating my parents too now. Like, I've been appreciating them, but like now since I'm growing up, like I see why they. You look at things differently, yeah. yeah Especially like, when you have a kid, I'm telling you, you yeah. look at things differently. Yeah. Okay, I know our parents love us, but they probably don't love our lifestyle. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That's what it really be like. Because how they grow up, man. Yeah. yeah Most was, parents were like trying to want the best for their kids, so in their head, they thinking school, school, school. Yeah. Or, Find something to do. Shoot, not mine. Mine just say as long as you're not doing what I was doing at your age, I'm proud. Okay, hey, sure. I like 
what I'm doing now, like, my mom, they were like, you know, shit, like, mind you, since I was a little girl, I was like, I just want to be a model, act, all this and that. She sees me following my dreams. She's proud already. Like, even though I'm not where I need to be, but it's like, she's proud because her growing up, like, mind you, my mom's a dwarf. She has a disability. Like, she doesn't get regular things I get. She can't. She doesn't drive, like, stuff. So it's like, I hold it on me that, like, I have to do this for you so I can make you like, you know, you feel like, you know, you got exactly what everybody around you get the same treatment and all this and that. So it's like I push myself harder just so like I could put her in a better spot because I know her growing up, it was not easy at all. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, your parents will give you the last two. Like, what? like I, I feel like your like your parents can't nobody piss you off like how your parents. Was what? Here. But they love you. <laughs> That's what it is. That's right. what they love young additional, like if you want to give it the money and stuff, like mm-hmm. end of the day, like they're gonna spend the money on you, like groceries and stuff. Like yeah. our parents really love us, they just our lifestyle. Like right. yeah. Yeah. even when they piss you off though, if you just sit down and calm down, there's always a lesson to it though. Yeah. yeah. So, All right, exactly. In between where you're just like, Okay, I get it, I kinda get it now. I honestly the lifestyle I live right now, it took like me and my OG, we butt we butt heads like for like two years straight, bro. I swear to God, yeah. we butt heads for like two years straight and to like it finally hit her like this year. Like I told her last year, I was like, I ain't going back to work. You know what I mean? I said, I'm not going back to work. If I go back to work, I'm po. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not, I didn't say I was po, but I said some. I said something along the lines. If I go back to work, I'm a dummy. You feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna take advantage of what I got going on you right now. You can be your own you boss. Mm-hmm. And I told her that. You feel me? And like, I just lived up to what I said. You feel me? And like, she, I feel like she respect me more as a man rather than like her son. Now, you yeah. feel me? Cause now she see even on my like she said on my birthday she was like she couldn't believe it when I told her I was like no I'm not going back to work I told her I was like I'm not going back to work how she took it like what, what she said she thought I was crazy <laughs> <laughs> right Look at him now, leaving it all in his hands I t- she thought I was crazy but you feel me my my OG she got to understand the way she raised me like I don't make no moves unless it's something there's some certainty to it you feel me like it has to, like things have to be in place like certain things have to be put in place like it has to be solidified before I even make a move and that's how I am with anything you feel me like certain things got to be solidified so I feel like she know once I see like any crazy ideas that cut in my head it's some shit I got planned in the future that's solidified so Thanks. that's just how it is how it is now you feel me hmm. I know you got a brother do you yeah. is y'all two or a sister uh I got two brothers two sisters oh okay a younger sister an older sister second oldest brother Troy his birthday today and my Happy birthday, boy. that boy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> it's classes, it's right? probably about to be a bit later. Yeah. For real. Yeah. You little nerd ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's pretty good. straight. Yeah, yeah he be vibing. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool people when I knew him. I lived from around him and stuff like that. Yeah, he, yeah, I love that nigga, man. That nigga be vibing. He's like actually one of my biggest supporters. You know? Okay. So it's right. I'm a dog. Got to give it to Mama Deuce, though. She's holding it down, bro. Yeah, Your dad is like, really locked up, and she's pretty much... Taking care of everything, yeah. She took the whole load Holding the fort down. Yeah. That's what's up. Five kids. Five? Yeah. I yeah. got... Five. My daddy damn went on a rampage. That's it. We had eight. Eight? <laughs> mm-hmm. All the same mom, or...? Uh, no, we got... He probably got three baby moms. But he got my brother, my sister, then me, then my little sister, then he had a baby, and then he just dropped like triplets not too long. Yeah, he's trying to on his village. He's That's what I'm saying. I thought he was done. <laughs> I'm going to say he's giving him, definitely giving him. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> I see what you're doing. They're but giving yes. his village. <laughs> That's what it's a, it's a handful he got. But thankfully, all four, like he got four little ones, but four of us, all of the grown ones, we all doing our own thing. Like, we don't call. We don't ask for nothing. We got it. Like we handling our business. So. True. Well, um, after that interview, me you did. did that guy, the last one. Yeah, did the guy ever? Really he came you? back. For real? He came back on knees praying, please. Oh, but boy. no. Once you like lose my loyalty and you disrespect me on that measure, it's like no rekindling nothing. What that happened? Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Check us out on the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we name dropped anything, but um. Yeah, I didn't name drop purposely because you know sometimes I believe in karma. I feel like you know I said my piece, I got out what I need to get out because guys are grimy. No, us ladies should be okay. Not all of them, but us ladies should be careful. 
But yeah, I didn't. I don't do the name dropping because it's like it's... I don't even want to give you no light. Yeah, we don't got name drop. Just right. give people like a uh, guess, like to stay. I don't think you guys know about it. Well, you probably oh. do, but like. What, oh, what happened, like, much. like basically exposure. He tried to expose like our bedroom business to oh, his no, that's friend. Foul. Right, very that's foul. foul. I don't do that. I don't say that. Yeah, mm. and it got out to the, it's. It what made it worse is that it got exposed to like the YouTube world. What? Like YouTubers all around, like you know, and I didn't like that. Like I was like, like what were you trying to do with that? You like I'm a bit of a rock. You probably have guys in your DM. And it's funny because you know I'm the book. But I'm not gonna name yeah, drop. Yeah, right, I don't want to put your people on the spot. My people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This shit is funny. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I he definitely be... came back. But I live on the rock because honestly, I, 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 I this is my first time finding about anything. I didn't even know. Any, I didn't even know y'all had a second interview. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It I'm was. I'm not here either. So. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah, but, set it up though. You, you yeah, you it. did set it up. Yeah. You knew about it. He yeah. said he just wasn't attending, but yeah, it was yeah. cool because it wasn't for him. It was more so for me Thank in you. my headspace. But on the beautiful side, I found my Mr. Right. Okay. Yes, and he's been true to me. Like he's actually like a very like good like thing that came into my life because he's actually helped me grow. He's actually seen okay. like helped me see my value. He's um he's all about like you know keep staying on top of me like get what you need done done don't procrastinate like you know because when you go through things and you like give your heart to the wrong people you start to like move grimy like I don't care about nothing f this person f that person I'm gonna do you dirty just because I think you're doing me dirty and it's like that wasn't a way to live so I was like thank God right Right. and I've been I've been popping off since yes and that's another thing. He's older. He's older for like five years. So I was like, I need that. I need that maturity in my life because these little boys ain't worth that. Yeah, that's <laughs> but that's, I don't know if that's true, but you guys agree with that? Like, I, I, it, it girls, just, girls uh, are more mature than guys. Yes. Even though they're younger. I honestly, I time, feel like, man. I feel like they, 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 it just honestly depends on what you go through. You feel me? Right. Or how they like at the same time, it, um, I just feel like niggas just be wanting to hoe around. Girls be wanting to. Red girls be ready to settle down, you feel me, whenever. Niggas is like, nah, I'm too young. I don't want to go. All right. Me. But it comes with the misleading, <laughs> though. Too, girls, too, though. You know, that's why they call them the, they tell girls sometimes to, like, go around in your 20s because you really don't know what you want. Yeah. So, like, A girl knows what she wants. It's just that you don't know if you're getting misled or not. See, because- and now, see, that's the thing. This is my thing with this. Like, my mindset where, like, if somebody played, tell them my life and they played, you feel me? Honestly, at that point, it is what it is. Because as long as I know I'm real to you, you feel me? Anything you do after that, you mean you got to deal with, that, deal with that after I shake on you. You hear me? But if I know I'm real, for you, real to you and I'm giving you my 100% myself, you feel me? And you play with it, that's you. You feel me? But I'm not going to sit here and beat myself up on why you did what you did. Yeah, I'm going to feel some type of way if you mm-hmm. dirty. But I'm not going to sit there and dwell on it. You feel me? I'm going to move on and shake on you. Leave you in the past. You feel me? Because you shouldn't have played. Mm-hmm. And I feel like everybody should have that mindset because it's like, if you're giving your all to someone, you feel me? It's not, yeah, you should show them that you're giving them your all, you feel me? But if it comes to a point where it come, it becomes a chore and you have to like, basically like, it's a daily thing where like, oh, I got to prove myself to this person because they've been through some shit in the past and they choose not to trust me rather than That's like, right. at that point, you got to just be like, man, look, I'm doing, I, I showed you I'm, I'm me. I'm here for you. You feel me? You don't want to deal with it. Okay, then. But I'm not going to sit here and deal with a heart I didn't break. Right. And another thing about that, like, after you get through that, one thing you have to learn is, like, you don't look back. (laughs) You don't you don't go open doors. You don't close. And that's one thing my man taught me, like, you didn't like you gave them a chance. They did what they did. Like mm-hmm. why why you gotta go back and see if it's gonna happen again? Yeah, no, you played. Right, you played. It's fucking. So, you, you got something better now. You ain't. Period. <laughs> Niggas play. Yeah, I feel like anybody anybody played. Fuck it. Go find right. something better. And that's but, the worst thing when you mm-hmm. cut your access off. That hurt them worse. Yeah. That hurt them worse. Yeah, because uh, as when they get older, it's either they realize, damn. Fucked up with that one, mm-hmm. or they're like, oh well. Yeah, right. it is what it is. Exactly. Some people be stuck in their ways. Some and with the whole relationship thing, you you gotta it takes compromise. You can't be stuck in your ways because some people might not like certain things that you do. You feel me? Mm-hmm. 
I wouldn't say completely change yourself for someone they don't change themselves, but both y'all got to compromise and change right. certain things about yourself. And that is true. I mean, it's called a relationship for a reason. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 But that's how most men like it, though. They like when the lady just follows the they lead and just shut up. Some but, men are like that. I call that. Yeah, I'm I not like that. I don't want to call that old school like that, but <laughs> look, I don't, don't, don't want to dominant. A, yeah, I don't want to date a zombie, bro. Like, I don't. Like, solely, right. solely what you said, I, I, I agree 100% with what you said, because it's like, at some point, like, I agree with both sides, like, yeah, you want to be the man, you want to lead the way, but at some point, like, God forbid, I fuck around, I get injured or some shit, and I can't work no more, I, I God mm. forbid, I, I pass, how you going to take care of your survival, the soul, the soul, right, that, and if you have kids, bro, you feel like, me, hmm. exactly, take care of it, like, if I go, you feel right. me, so I, I, me, as a man, I feel like, if I'm getting a bag, my girl got to be getting a bag too on her own. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I want to teach her. I want to help her grow. Yeah, I want to teach her stuff. Up, yeah. Exactly. My but. job is to build her up too, guys. I'm going. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But you I need to up. know that if some shit happened to me, you can hold this <laughs> shit got down. This. You, you got it. You got it. That's 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 how I see it. I don't. I I don't do that stay at home vibe shit. You're like gonna get up and work too. Yeah, I'm not like you. work for yourself. You don't gotta work for like older help. You feel me? But if you if it comes, and that's another thing. I'm not even going to touch on that topic because it's going to be a big ass debate about that. But that little 50 50 shit, you feel me? Uh, but it's uh, like, you're going to work, but <laughs> you're going to work to, you're going to work for the future. You feel me? If a woman's with me, she's working to prepare for the future or like invest in herself. You feel me? I, I could take care of everything. You feel me? But you got to work to invest in yourself or prepare for the future because God forbid I fucking go. Right. What you going to do? What you going to be stuck? On? You feel me? You gonna not be, even that. Um, I feel like. If I'm dating a girl and I'm doing everything and all mm-hmm. she's doing is just sitting home, I understand kids is like a like a handful. That's a job. I understand that, but I also want you to be. What do you What do you like to do? Like, exactly. what do you want right. to do? Like, I don't want you to sit at home all do day. Do nothing. Like, like, we both had these kids. I could watch them sometimes. Yeah. You don't gotta watch them all day. And that, to me, that's but a not all off. guys have your mindset yeah. though. Y'all gotta understand that a lot of but, guys don't. But think some guys the way use that. Some should. guys that use that to be controlling. True. That is true, um, because <laughs> <laughs> look, you laughing. What, what's going on? Because I know somebody that's dating a girl, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Quit your job," mm-hmm. but then she's always complaining about, "Oh, he's cheating on me." Da, da, da. But it's like she don't do nothing. Like, yeah, he, so, like, he buys her yeah. something like something expensive, or a Louis Vuitton bag, something like she she passes her. Right, hours, like and then, then, then they remind her she, he's then still the next cheating. Day, he's still cheating, yeah. Good. So that she's kind of trapped, kind of because she's like mm-hmm. everything is depending on him. And in his eyes, I guess he probably likes her like that. I don't know if he likes her or not, but he's probably looking at her like, yeah, I got her. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. So just to be aware, ladies, like just because he's paying for everything, don't mean I never, I never told her to tell a girl to quit her job, but I, I'll pay you to miss that little shift for the day. If I want to stay <laughs> <I don't look. laughs> all those friends, like, if I see, if I see potential on you, and I'm up, I'm make say, say, yeah, you quit your job, like if. But I will stuff, invest you know? in you. You feel me? So yeah, you can make your yeah, own G. Bro, go do real estate or something. Yeah. If I see potential on somebody, right. like even my girl, like, and I, I'm up right now, mm-hmm. I make her quit the job, focus on her business, like last check yeah. or whatever. Whatever she want to do, and that's another thing. You feel me? A lot of people, a lot of people quit their job with, with, with like. I feel like I, I tell a lot of people. I tell a lot of people quit their job, but I tell them like I give them like a, like warning. You know the warning sign at the bottom, like warning. Make sure your job pay you the same. I mean your side hustle pay you the same amount or more, more than your job before you quit your job, or just make sure you have some emotion. You feel me? Because I just see some people quit their job and be like, damn. Just wow, I quit my job, bro. Nigga, why you quit your job? You <laughs> right, you have nothing oh, to fall back on. Like, come on, bro. You told me to quit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you did. You gotta, you gotta read the instructions <laughs> at the bottom, the warning sign. Like, it, it's gonna it's gonna be them days. I mean, small fine print in it. Yeah, the fine print, you feel me? Because yeah. it, it is gonna be them days with your business. Like, Not it's gonna be them man. days you yeah. like, damn, bro. Is this really what I want? Is what you want to do, but you could, like, you down yourself, you're going to question it. What's you? What if it's like acrimony, where it's like your business ain't doing nothing, nothing like for years, be, and then finally working, it pops? Working on. I think you should be working till it pops. Yeah. Or until yeah, you get, until you make enough, or you make it the same amount, like you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I, it's just, well, I think that movie is a bit of a too example, invested. This is another like, thing, too. They don't want to do nothing else. They just want to do what they want to do. It's another thing, too. Businesses can boom and slow down. That's why, yeah. with me, when my clothing brand, whenever I get like a jump in sales or some shit, or like I get like like it, uh, just a large, 
a, a big Quantum. jump or like a big influx or something like that. You feel me? I use that same amount. Of, I use that same money. You feel me? And I put it right back into it. You feel me? I I, I invest into my business again and again until like that big jump becomes something consistent. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. And if and you get to hard. a point where you see that you're able to re invest into it, mm-hmm. you should think about investing into other things like stocks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I feel That's like that multiple income is what's saving. I'm going to tell you right now, by the time I'm 25, I'm going to have seven sources of income. Period. How old are you right now? Huh? How old are you right now? 21. Oh. Man, I thought you were older than that. Nah. <laughs> I just turned 21 in May. Damn, that's the but thing. Finally able to drink. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's so you probably was still drinking before that. That's the thing. A lot of uh, like a lot of people who I talk to, I know a lot of people. Like I know so many people. I knew you like before. You knew me before the social media, yeah. the, the podcast. Simply just through like basketball and your brother. Yeah. Like so, it's like I know a lot of people. It's like the people who I know that's older than me. They be like, bro, like stay focused because you're on the right track because you're young. You feel me? Yeah. And like that's another thing. Like I, I be having to give myself that reality check when I start to get depressed up on my business somewhere. I feel like, damn, I'm not doing enough. You feel me? Because you could be doing them. Like, bro, I had a successful pop up shop. I made a couple bands in one night, and I was like, damn. I woke up the next day like I'm not doing enough. I'm like, but what right. the hell? You're right, that's, that's, like, that's thing, a big though. accomplishment. But, but that'd, be, that'd be a good thing, though. Like, you know I mean? but, right. but at the same time, I have to. You have to sit back. You have to tell yourself, like, you gotta remind yourself, like, bro, I'm young. I'm not right, forty. Right, exactly. You feel me? Like, I'm young. I got time. You feel me? So, I feel like everybody should sit back and get themselves that reality check. Right, that's a stage I'm in. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to be on movies. I want to do this. I want to be traveling. Like, I see all my dogs traveling. I'm like, I want to travel, but I'm like. I gotta relax. Like yeah, yeah. it's just not my time, and I can't force that. it to be you my make time. Sacrifices sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Just because you see everybody blowing up right now, give it another year, a couple years. Right. Those people you see blowing up, they gonna be downgrade. Right. Yeah, I feel they that. They messed up somehow or did something wrong. Yeah. Right. And that's right. living that lifestyle they're supposed to be living. Right. Exactly. Living that fake exactly. lifestyle. I feel that. I feel like I feel like that's another thing that that fuck a, fuck our generation up. Social media. Yeah. So social, social media, what? niggas with their homeboys and all this shit. It's just, uh, one thing that I see that's prominent, bro. A lot of dudes be trying to live their homeboys' lifestyle, and bro, just chill out, bro. Because I see a lot of dudes crash out like that. You feel right. me? Right. Like dudes, some dudes, they homeboys go to the club, blow money. You feel me? Like there's nothing to do. You down. feel me? Like it's nothing to them. That same money they blowing, that's what you make in a month. Well, they just made that in two days. You feel me? Chill out. Don't right. go do that same thing they doing. You did Keep all it that at, for what? Right, for uh, what? Right. You feel good right that night. You notice you. Or you go, you go, you go buy some drip because it's or they gonna like. Don't try to live your yeah. homeboy lifestyle. You feel me? They're like, yeah, it's your dog, but do not try to live your homeboy lifestyle. A lot right. of these dudes try to live their homeboy lifestyle and they crash out, bro. And mm-hmm. they homeboys, they homeboys be like, why my dog depressed? Why my dog did this? Ain't this suicidal? Where's this man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it like is. a lot of dudes, some some dudes be like, "Well, my homeboy did this. Why my homeboy killed himself?" I'm like sometimes you gotta look back, like as a real homeboy. If you know your homeboy, right. like me, I know my, I don't know my homeboy's pockets. I don't know how much they got in their pockets, but I know my homeboy's limits. If you know your dog, you know your dog's limits. Like, bro, all right, bye, bro. You feel me? Like, I feel like as me, I'm the type of friend where like if I fuck with somebody, I'm gonna fuck with somebody 110. percent I'm gonna treat them like family. You feel me? So if I see, if I feel like I can give somebody some advice and help them. I will definitely give give them that advice, you feel me? In like any aspect of life, you feel me? I go through I go through so much shit. If I give you out my life story, bro, so many people call me about advice, bro. It be sometimes people who I haven't spoke to in a while be like, bro, Liam, I just need some advice. I just be like, and I just be having it. I don't know how, but it's just it just be shit I be going through that. Some experience sometimes though, right? And then when you're looking outside of it, when it's not you personally, you Mm -hmm. you have better advice. Yeah, Yeah, which is crazy because what I was gonna say earlier, like. It's crazy because I know a lot of people get advice from their parents, but it's usually me giving the advice to mine. Oh, wow. Yes, I like to call me. I have to talk them out to like, you know, sometimes you don't need to be doing that or you don't need to give this attention. Get yourself together. Like my mom, I don't know what, like I'm my mom's only child. So it's like without me, I don't know. Like she tells me all the time, I, 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 it's nothing. Like I'm nothing without you. But it's like I, I make sure like I, I lead her the best way because it's me. I watch, I'm very observant. I watch even if it's not my life, it's people around me. I'm watching. Mm-hmm. I'm always watching. I'm taking notes. That's not what I want to be like. That's not what I want to do. That's not right. You should not be doing that. Even kids, I'm looking like, like, who raised you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> so it's like me, I'm always like, you know, I'm all about like what's right, positive. Like I always want to give the best advice that I can that'll lead you 
like to success, mm. which is why I always find myself sitting and hearing everybody's problems. But my problems, I put in the back of me. Like I'll be like, I'll figure that out later. But you, I got you. I'm gonna talk but, you through this. You know what they say? The most successful people are the best listeners. Right. Yeah. I think that's what it is. You know, and you know, it's crazy. I feel like I became. Like, I became observant of people, like, the more my social media platform grew, because that's when the fake love started coming. What? You feel me? So, it's like, as, like, things started happening, dudes started switching up and stuff, I'm like, okay, this is how people, this this is how, like, it'd be, like, certain mannerisms, certain conversations, it's like, I'd be peeping people, bro, and, like, it'd be some people who I peep, and they do some, some fuck nigga shit in the future, I'm like, man, I already seen that happen. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's like, bro, I, I read people, so I could tell who's a genuine person from the jump, bro, and it's like, right. it's crazy, because I'm, I always prove myself right, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's like God, because they be talking to me, it's that observant, right, but I'm very observant, well, like, it worse be when it's your own people, but then when it's like, uh, like white folks, the black people for some reason don't treat them the same way, but your mm-hmm. own people is like, come on, bro, like, we're the same, bro. right, <laughs> like, it's crazy, I'm, I'm you, I'm you, we all human. I don't know. It's that hatred. Right. I don't. Know, I don't know if it's because it's in Florida or whatever, but it's that hatred that be like. Yeah. I think they want to be you, but they can't. They be They want to be in position. Yeah. That's another thing. I just tweeted about that. I was like, a lot of like, I, it was today. I said people will talk. People will talk shit about your your social media platform. Oh, you 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 um you do not nothing with the social media. You not nothing. But they will give up their very last to be in the same okay. position. Right, and will. They will say, I would never do this. I would never do that. And they will do exactly Sign a whole this. deal with the you devil, please. And, and that's, that's that's the thing. Like, I, Because I, I actually said it this morning. Because I felt size. You feel me? Because somebody, it was some, Kurt called me about it this morning. It was some shit. It was some petty shit. And like, I guess somebody from Broward DM'd another nigga from another state about me. And the, and the nigga called him a goat. I said, bro, you a dick in the booty ass. You know? <laughs> call him the goat because he gossiping about me. It's like, bro, I don't, I don't bad mouth nobody. Man, what you be doing to these niggas? Right. Bro, he, what, you right. be hitting their girls or something? No. No. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you got a reputation then. I, I don't really have a reputation. To, like, like I don't have no reputation in Broward. Besides of that whole situation. Mm-hmm. I don't have no, you know the situation. Yeah. I don't have, I, re- I don't really have no reputation about besides the, like, the the numerous amount of people I know, and they will tell you, nine times out of ten, the people who I know, they will say, yeah, I know Leon, he goofy as hell, he play too much, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Other than that, it's like, it don't really be no bad blood, but it's always that one little needle in the haystack, always got some negative shit to say about me, and it's probably, because people gotta realize, like, Everybody don't get the same Leon, you feel me? If you do some fucking yeah. shit, I'm gonna like I'm gonna treat you as such. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like, but I treat everybody with the same respect. I respect everybody, you feel me? Yeah. Like even if I don't know a nigga, if a nigga with some if a nigga with another dude that I know, you treat him with respect. I'm like, what's up, bro? I'm gonna dab him up, you feel me? Just common courtesy, just respect, you feel me? And I respect everybody because I don't play by my own respect, you feel me? I flip off the roof by my respect, hmm. you feel me? Like I so it's like I just feel like sometimes dudes just don't show me that same respect, and that that was like something I had to sit down with my homeboy about. So I was like, I was like, God forbid, I could make a nigga a uh, example and go back to my old ways. You feel me? Because I don't I don't brag about my old ways. I used to fight a lot. I used to like get in trouble a lot. But I don't. That's not some shit I brag about. You feel me? I don't portray yourself that on social media. I don't portray no type of image. And me on social media is just me in my pure form, really. That's just a glimpse of my life. I don't portray no nothing on social media. I post my pictures and I go. I make jokes and I go. You feel me? But people feel like they know you from social media. Uh-huh. Right. You know me in real life. You know me in real life. Y'all know me for years. You feel me? But some people feel like they know me. Like right, off of what they see. Off of what they see, you feel me? And they get this image in their head. And I be like, bro, you don't know me, bro. <laughs> you don't. And don't. You feel me? And too. people probably run off with like, like, they run off with that yeah. thought in their head. Like, they try to this go This person told this people. person. And that person, me? like, damn, they think you're a bad guy now. And they don't know, like, bro, I don't, I don't play that in the like, but I'll, I don't play by my respect. You feel me? I crash yeah. out by my respect, but I calm down now. You feel me? Like, yeah. You know, it, tra- it takes a strong mind to just not give a fuck about yeah. what nobody yeah, thinks. Like, say, okay, older, cool. Older, <laughs> that's nice. You're going to realize that like, you're going to stop putting yourself in certain environments, certain places. Mm-hmm. Right. Certain, like, you're just going to be like, this is not worth it. I'm not going to even entertain it. Yeah. It's, I don't, like, bro, when niggas say shit about me, I, I honestly don't care. If niggas got beef with me, I don't care. Because if they don't come to me about it, if somebody else have to come to me about what you said, 
you obviously respect me because you didn't say it to me. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not even worried about that pussy then. That, that's it's only I mean. one. I don't beef with nobody. It's only one nigga who asked him to get on when I see him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one, and it's and it's been it's been going on for four years. We've oh, done it for you four years. You sound like Tyson Beckford. I was watching his shit. He was like just. It's going that, in, he was like, I don't know why people think because I, I model and shit that they think I'm just sweet. Like, they think I'm sweet. You said that, that. They think I I'm think sweet, bro. Like, they take this whole pretty boy junk for like, like, like. Oh, so that shit happens to you too? It, <laughs> yeah. It's bad. It's bad, bro. Like, if I flip and people are like. Oh, he's crazy. No, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Like, cause I respect people and people feel like they, they don't have to respect me. Oh, you a pretty boy, all this stuff. You pussy, all. Mm. bro. I will. Beat the brace off you, and that has happened to me before. Damn, some dudes thought it was sweet, and I had, and I ended up beating up the dude. You feel me? And then like the niggas around me ended up jumping, and it was like, bro, you thought I was sweet, and you didn't think I was gonna get off. You feel me? And it's like I don't, I don't brag about that shit because that's not something I would brag about. You feel me? I don't brag about being tough. Right, this is negative. Like, you feel me? if you living your life like that, this niggas only wanna... negatives coming to you. I'm, I'm mean 90, 99% of the time. Like, you know, want to live like that. You want to live like that. Be on, dreaming too. Niggas be tough 24-7. People are living a miserable life. Right. A lot of people are living the miserable life. but I can't even hang around niggas like that. Who yeah, tough they try to take it on other people too. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, they try to put it on you too. I don't got time for that. But you got, and, and that comes with maturity and understanding. Mm. It's, it's, people just go through shit. You feel me? That's why when certain dudes see certain shit, I'm like, bro, you probably going through the worst in the worst. Right, I ain't gonna. Yeah. 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 They but then they take that maturity of like, being pussy, bro, and it's like, it just, it always collides, bro. My life is, it's so many, it's so many things that, like, me changing my life, it, like, my old life just collides with my new life, bro. And, like, it just, it's just taking maturity and patience. Well, That's, if you're saying this right now, more money, more power, you know what they say. So yeah. as you grow, you get older, and you get more successful. That's when you mm-hmm. gotta mature more because now you can't hit certain people because now they're gonna be like, oh, mm-hmm. I just wanna sue. Get sue. Money. Right, I just wanna sue. That's mm-hmm. all they be looking Because they know you're gonna react. Exactly. That yeah. same thing, like, Perk called me this morning. He's like, yo, what's up with that? I said, bro, honestly, I honestly, I just deleted all that stuff. Please. There's no point in it. <laughs> yeah, you can't you know get it. There's a difference, though. Self defense, like, someone come at you mm-hmm. in purse and stuff like that. I get it. You gotta self defense yourself. Yeah. But if it's someone talking, like, Far away or something like what? what, what? Yeah, like because I the, like the dude was talking shit. I DM'd him. You, you feel me? He didn't DM me back. He made a on the TL. He went on the TL. Oh. He said, "Get out my DM and all this stuff." Bro, why you just didn't go to DM? I actually, I said, "What you want to do?" You feel me? Right? Is that the all it be? Yeah. The clown? He's trying to get some clown off you, bro. Don't and they was clowning him. They wasn't even following mm-hmm. him, and they was clowning him. Like, bro, like, now look what you man. did. He a lot of people to talk about. He he probably bored wherever he's yeah. at. Yeah. <laughs> bro, woke up in the morning. Yeah, it'd be crazy, bro. Sure. Got you on your mind. Yeah, right. Brian brushes right. teeth. Like, I be asking you, bro. Miserable, bro. Miserable, bro. Like, bro, I be on your mind like that. You feel oh me? You probably gay too. You probably. Sure, you know. know. You probably would have done that kiss and see for a You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Like, because I don't bother nobody. I make my little jokes on social media. I post my little pictures on social media and I just go about my day. And yeah, anybody I chew with in real life know I just be trying to have fun 24 7. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You sound like a Pisces. A bit Taurus over here. Um, oh, oh, you was a Taurus. I'm a Taurus too. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nah, nigga, nah, nigga. <laughs> yes, uh, you both you, Pisces, right? Boy. No. I ain't made the cut. Uh, <laughs> I, was like a, I was a month ahead. Uh, I'm Aquarius. So you're not Mahler no more. Water sign. Uh, it's like, I'm like, you know what's crazy? I just talked to my, um, my photographer, um, Luigi, the Fresh Prince. I was just talking to him like, I need to get back behind the camera again. Uh, like, you about to catch me about to do something with mom. Yeah. Hey, about, and we are. I'm about to get that. Might like, as well pull up. I'm gonna slide because I, I got honestly, bro. I feel like with with my whole clothing brand, like I just started in January. You feel me? But it's been like taking off, and it's like I appreciate everything because I I manifested it, so I can't complain about all the hard work I got to do. You feel me? But I that's one reason I was gonna move out of Broward, but it was like Broward showed me so much love. Besides all the little like little small talk, some people be having. Mm-hmm. Majority of Broward show me so much love, and I love and appreciate Broward for that. You feel me? Like I rep Broward everywhere I go. You feel me? I ain't from Miami. You know, Broward, <laughs> Broward County. You feel know I me? Mean? Now five fools. But yeah, so I'm. I was actually gonna move to Atlanta, but now I'm gonna stay in Broward and shit. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep expanding my business out here. You feel me? 
travel. That's all you gotta do. I'm travel. not gonna lie. Atlanta be having so much like, Virgin opportunities name, and stuff. Like, nah, don't get me wrong. Atlanta do be having. Yes. Bro, let me tell you how I just left Atlanta because I had yeah, caught up there. Yeah. Bro, I, I got see. Caught there too. I was speeding down there, bro. Just met me caught the head with so many consequences. Bro. Oh, I forgot to ask you about that. Like, what the fuck you doing, Georgia Court? Like, they considered me a super speeder down there. Oh damn. Oh, not a super speeder. How fast you was going? I was like going at like twenty. What car you was driving? BMW five series. I feel you. Super speeder. I was, I was trying to rush back to the BMB for my birthday. Dang. I was I wasn't at the BMB all day. Feel me? We were trying to pop bottles. Yeah. I was like, bro, let me get that. Then on your birthday, he pulled you over or? on the highway. Like, why you sit on the side of the highway? It was on like your birthday. Yeah. Weirdo. Like, yeah. it was on like your birthday. Yeah. Like, I got freaking over. weirdo. Why what you sit on the side of the highway? To a ticket court. Just let the lawyer handle that. Cause he hit me with he hit me with um thirty one miles an hour and over and um reckless driving. Ain't no way beating that or something. Oh. They they uh, I I you know what's crazy? I forgot to go to um ticket clinic. I forgot. Oh. Me, I forgot. So I forgot about ticket clinic. I forgot about my first court date. Then they hit me with a subpoena. Oh. I was like, oh, no. That's why you had to show up. <laughs> yeah, so I had to. So I was like, man. So now I got to pay I gotta pay $1,400. Mm, $1,400? Gotta do, yeah, I got to do um, 40 community service hours. Mm. In Atlanta or? Uh, down here. In, 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 oh. And then I got to do an online <laughs> driving course. And they put. That's yeah. normal, the driving course. Yeah. yeah. And then he was like some type of probation for like a 12 months. Damn, but it's like bad. mandatory six months. But I don't, I'm not gonna speak too much about it because right, you know, yeah, it's still going on, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. yeah, they consider me a super speeder. But that was so lame with that officer. Yeah. That's what he called you. That's your nickname for him, huh? That's what he called you. Like that was your nickname. What super, super speeder? speeder? No, like that's literally that's what literally what he is. They call, they call it in court. Like if oh, it, if you consider a super speeder, they can like suspend your license indefinitely. Oh, I oh. think I'm not sure if it's indefinitely, but they can literally take your license if you consider a super speeder, because that means you're going way over the speed limit. Like you could do like or say like you get stopped, you could do like ten over, twenty over, but you're going thirty one and over. Yeah, your ass was speeding. You feel me? Because if it's a he said it was a sixty five, so I was going thirty one over. It's 55, yeah. 65, yeah. so I was going like, he caught me at 110. I've been trying to chill, too. I've got Man, like three tickets rush that boy when you had some pussy waiting over there, sir? Uh, oh, I was supposed to pop bottles. I was excited for my birthday, bro. Like, I turned 21. But it was like 1155? Yes. <laughs> yes, bro. Oh, okay. I get it. That's why in Atlanta, the highway, the highway it, 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 like, it curves, you feel me? You feel me? And it be open. It be sliding. Mm-hmm. I was in an all-wheel drive beaming. I'm talking about, I'm gripping. Who you listening to? <laughs> Who you was playing? Who I was playing? Yeah. Three, three, three. I, was, I, was <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Let me go play with that speed shit because I got pulled over two What? Ones. Same. Man, I got to let go, though. So they let me. Down. Surprisingly, he let me go. I'm like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm like, no way. He just Because I thought he caught me. You feel me? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to jail. But he said he caught me at that much. I was like, okay, all right. And then he was like, I'm gonna let you over to the plantation. He's like, bro, get back to your BNB. I'm like, all right, appreciate you. Damn. I fuck about I left for Atlanta. He told you happy birthday or no? no. Right. Hell no. no. I already told him, hey, it's my birthday, man. You understand? Mm-hmm. I got pulled yeah, over my yeah. birthday too. Yeah, I tried to like. You got bull with though. Hmm. He ain't. He, he, he was lying. I, I was. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was going to. I don't want to go to jail right. in Georgia. Like I do not want to go to jail in Georgia. Well, that's not your city. So I was like, I was like, kind of like getting anxious. I'm like, fuck, like I'm gonna go to jail in Georgia. Damn, like, no people though. Right? <laughs> like who go, who gonna pick me up when I get out? Like, <laughs> busy. Well, I'm an Uber too. Like so, I was, I was anxious. So oh I just like God. got a ticket and shook. That was really. That and then the fun. judge was like, if I get another ticket down there. Within this probation period, he oh, gonna put, he gonna put me in jail for six months. Up there. So you can't mm-hmm. speed for real. You yeah. gotta have like grandma, grandpa, bro. Granddaddy. But that's only at uh-huh. Georgia, right? Yeah, only Georgia. Georgia. If I get a ticket in Georgia, gonna smack it to me for six months, bro. Oh. Yeah. Over a ticket, bro. I would not be in I'm Georgia. I'm not trying to sit in jail for <laughs> You can't even run a red light. You can't mm-hmm. do a wrong turn. You Nate, gotta, thank you. you gotta, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He miles up. We just see all the way up and just stop driving like that. Right, right. I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to bring right. <laughs> I'm gonna Caution. do my homeboys with me. All right, or sweet, don't even sweet, drive sweet. At all, yeah. Don't even drive. At all, yeah. Yeah, right. like, but that's just another obstacle you gotta overcome. You feel me? I'm gonna that's get true. all that out of the way. You feel me? Pay that little, pay that little fourteen hundred. Uh-huh. Do that little class. 
get them hours done because I already know on the little time at home I can go get my hours done. And then boom, I just got it. It's like, yo, I done did everything. Hmm. What you want to do? Yeah. They might let you off early too, depending on, yeah. 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 They, he said a mandatory six months, so. But I don't know. Nah, they probably still work with you. Exactly. Yeah, you're young. Yeah, they see you trying to get some stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Because the majority of the dudes, because I ain't going to lie, when I went to court, almost everybody had a lot, got the same thing as me. Oh, damn. Yeah, so it was two dudes that, bro, I'm texting my home, but I'm like, I, I'll leave the courtroom and like, I go to bed. I'm like, bro, they just put a nigga in cuffs about this same <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't play. Don't they play don't. Play. They arrested no. two niggas about Judges that. Judges don't play. For going they, to don't. they don't play. They don't and play. you know what's even worse? Right. Somebody in the somebody in the courtroom made the judge mad. Oh. So the judge told him to get up and sit at the um the little bench, like right next to the um, I don't know what it was. So he already made the judge mad. So every time the judge get through with somebody else, he'll throw some little shit at the buddy, like, yeah, I've been doing this. And look at him like this. I was like, oh my God. Man, you got to be an actor mm. when you go to court, bro. What? Nice. Bro, I remember listening to a comedian. Yes, guy, sir. He said, he literally, bro, <laughs> you know, on lunch break, he literally sat there, got a lunch bag, started eating his food, just to act normal. Like, you got to, bro, you got to make the judgment of people around you. Like, you think you're a civilian? Yeah, like yeah. you're a civilian. Like, you just made a mistake. Right. Like, right. Um, one of the, I forgot the rapper name, but just because he was going like this in court, I gave him max to life. Oh, yeah, I forgot buddy's name. Dwayne in there for a minute. He's gone. On, he's gone for a long time, bro. Like like a life, yeah, I forgot his name, bro. That uh, was sucking his teeth. Yeah, he started sucking his teeth, bro. And the lawyer was like, because uh, uh, it was on black TV. Yeah, and, I don't know why people try to clown niggas for like, oh, you did this in court. Like, I'm supposed to be gangster in court, nigga. No, like they try to. So, about the whole situation, y'all know the situation. Yeah. They try to clown me about all the judges doing it. Like, nigga, what you want me to do? Be gangster in court? I mean, be with a suit and tie. You feel me? I, I might haircut. shed a few you tears. Gotta, Hold on. Yeah, Let me gotta, work them up. Make sure you got family members so they can know you got a family support. Like, you got to do all that. Yeah. Oh, you no. want me to be gangster in court? No. Yeah, do that case to see how much time you get. Right. I'm trying to tell What's that? more important? Go be in a fucking thing with a whole bunch of niggas or out here you living think? your life? Free. Exactly. A gentleman than a gangster. That's yeah. What it is. People be. who say that, they're not mature. They, they're not mature. Well, I don't even want to be all. friends with you after I heard right. that. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, but you see the type of dumb stuff people try to clown me for, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, people, they, these niggas try to clown me. Niggas can't call me bro ugly. They can't call me bro, so they attack me about social media. All right. It's so interesting. And it's so annoying because it's like, it's like sometimes I just don't be wanting to hear about social media. Like, imagine trying to get away from social media. And, it come and like back to you. it come back to you. Right. You go to a family family event, social media being brought up. Yeah, I it, seen your tweet. You feel me? It's like it's, it's like social media, social media, Instagram, 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 Instagram. Like leave me the fuck alone. How man. do you get detox? Do you like sometimes just like How, step away from? I, social I don't media? answer my phone. Oh, you don't answer your phone. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, because sometimes you do need a detox. Yeah. Because social media, it's like a drug kind of. Bro, yes. Listen, I I, remember, I I knew it was bad, and one time I I had to do some stuff like like I remember I told you I write stuff down. I had I wrote some I wrote a bunch of stuff down that I had to get done and I ended up sitting on the edge of my bed for two hours on Twitter and TikTok laughing at videos. I said no. You feel me? I locked my phone and like I literally didn't open no social media. Like when I was go, going to swipe the Instagram, I'm like, nah, you feel me? Go back to the notes, see what I gotta get done, get that done. Cause me, I got ADHD. So either I'm super focused or I'm distracted. Yeah. So I just I just made like I was just like, nah, you feel me? And I just ended up being super focused on one thing. I'm like, all right, what's the next? You mean, all right, what's the next? Because social media will. All right. What? Yeah. What's your thoughts on Clubhouse? Because I see the Clubhouse. Clubhouse? Too, I'm man. done with Clubhouse. Right. I'm kind of, yeah. I, I think I, this is January, bro. Yeah, I, I think that wave like, died down, I right? I feel like in December when I first went on there, it was doing okay. It was doing good. Mm -hmm. But then it started becoming more like a popularity test. Like, mm -hmm. I need yeah. to get that I, I, bling, bling. Yeah. And, I found it very childish. Like, I, I, I don't even have too. the app no more. It like, had room for, like, stupid stuff. Right, like, like yeah. prank calls. Fuck, marry, kill, yeah. uh, uh, smash or pass. And yeah. then it's like, I'm like, what is oh, yeah, this? They did have smash I'm like, what is this? Y'all yeah. listening to here, so like, true. is he gonna say he's gonna smash me? Yeah. And I'm so, just like, and then you know, the girls, you got the girls on there trying to be like, you know, I had bougie. a nigga get mad at me about that shit. Which one, the smash pass thing? Yeah, a nigga. Um, I was just in the room chilling one time, and um, a bunch of people, some nigga joined, and a bunch of people joined, and they wanted to play a smash and pass game. I don't know. I just I sat my dumb ass here. <laughs> just sitting and listening. I was sitting and listening, was, was sitting and you feel me? Because I had a green bean, so I was in that bitch vibing, sitting on Instagram, scrolling through Twitter, just hearing them talk. Because when you be on Clubhouse, you just sometimes you just sit there and listen to right. people talk. Observe. And sometimes you'll probably put your little two cents in. You feel me? 
And like as time went on, like girls were like, oh, I'll smash wavy for me. Like a bunch of girls just kept saying back to back to back. And then all of a sudden, it got silent. I'm like, I know this nigga ain't kicked me out the room. Oh, so then I they made another room. Like, yeah, he kicked you out. Like, well, what the fuck? Niggas take this shit that right, serious. Right, that serious. Shoot, that like, girl probably the one who said it. <laughs> you feel me? But it's like, and then like I ended up, I I caught myself like I ended up like getting. I don't argue about social media, but I was arguing with like a couple people about my respect, like respect right. me. You feel me? Or like somebody trying to like get attention. You feel me? Uh-huh. I was like, man, fuck that shit. Bro. I really, I, un- I uninstalled it so quick I after the it. third argument. I was like, nah. I'm not finna sit here and yell right. at my phone. Wait, who, with you? I, bro, it was niggas on there gang banging like, yeah, big blood, big crib. <laughs> like, nigga, what you gonna do? Over the <laughs> mic. <laughs> what you gonna do? What? Bro, they probably walk around the house. Nah, um, I really, mm. I was enjoying it when it came to like actual intellectual conversations. Like, yeah. thank you. Where it's like, you know, where, yeah, yeah. where we're actually talking about That's what it started as. Something. That's what I like. Yeah. But then boom, like you that. got people just fighting on it. You got, got stupid hot. games. Mm-hmm. Like games I played back in middle school. I'm like, started, this what y'all still want to be on? I'm right. Like, it, started, it started as me and my homeboy Levinsky. We started, it started because that was on the time when I first started, I was about to start my business. And I was just like, I'll join room and people be like, oh, introduce yourself. I'm like, man, look, I'm starting a business, all this stuff, go follow the page. Mm-hmm. And put my put my name out there. And um it just it just went downhill from that. Club it went downhill from that. They yeah. even had a brow room that I seen people on and Yeah. Like, I used to be in there. But it was too much drama. I, think, I, I was think, like, I'm not joining that shit. I think, think a lot of hopping in the room and certain people But you heard yelling? That got out what? Of it. <laughs> it's just un- like it's just Let me like tell you how childish, sick. bro. People Acting like they big, big, bad. bad yeah. But you they, see them outside, like in real person, like nothing, nobody, not nothing. saying a they word. They took that shit so serious, bro. They hated me and Nate. Nate so ugly. They hated me and Nate because we'll come in that bitch and we start trolling, like immediately, like saying just like dumb shit or just like making dumb noises. Like, what are y'all taking this app so serious? Well, it's not a Zoom meeting. Let like, me that's... talk. Let me talk. Everybody be quiet. You Mute they, yourself. They, me and Nate are coming. Like, they hated me and Nate. Like, literally. Especially Nate, because Nate trolled the hardest. <laughs> well, he, he, Nate looks like the type of person. Who's what? Like, he's no, so y'all, y'all already like clubhouse is off now? Nah, not really. But, I'm <laughs> like, some people in that bar room or, like, just in, like, other rooms, you know, like, they hated me and Nate because me and Nate would come in that bitch. We'd be in that bitch trolling. Like, I think I caught him in that room before, though. I was like, I know Leon ain't sitting on no damn clubhouse. Yeah, I used to be. I used to be bored. <laughs> I was in the room bored. My business didn't start yet. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on my clothes to be shipped. So sure. I know I got money coming in. You feel me? So I'm at the crib vibing. You feel me? I'm just like, let me go to the clubhouse. And I'll just I'll be cleaning up. I'll be listening to the clubhouse, just like laughing at motherfuckers conversations mm-hmm. and shit like that. And then, like, it turned into, like, it's just with haywire. Motherfuckers get to arguing on that bitch. It'll be funny when they start arguing, though, because, like, I'll, j- like I said, I'm a troll. I'll be like, I bet y'all won't feed about it. Uh-uh. You feel me? I'll cut off on that bitch. I won't feed about it. the reason why Clubhouse is gone. Nah, it's gone. It's gone already? Or, or not, not gone, gone, but, like, but nobody. Club, bro, they, right somebody here. was talking about Clubhouse the other day. I'm like, yo, that app's still alive? I ain't gonna lie, that app had potential. Like it could have went. It could have. It could have The only reason why I even joined it was because it was Christmas week, uh, Christmas uh, uh, break. Yeah. And you know nobody's working, nobody's everybody's home. Yeah, everybody's home. So I joined it, and I'm like, okay, this got potential. Like then I'm starting to learn stuff, and then I go to like January after New Year's. I was like, yeah, I don't know, I can't do this anymore. And I think the 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 lit thing about it is actually you could have like influencers and stuff Mm -hmm. actually join in. That is true. You could your life could change. Right. Yeah. That is true. I met I I I was in there with a couple celebrities. I remember Omi and the Hellcat ended up joining, and he was like, Queen he was hand. like blessing girls for lunch. He was like, yo, they was like, oh, because you know, it was like a cash app. Room. Oh and yeah, the girl, some you girls from I mean, Broward. Cash was, app room. Come so, in and drop your cash app. We gonna give you money. Some girls from Broward was like cash app a queen for breakfast. You feel me? But I knew the girls, so I was like, man, what the hell y'all got going on? Omi and the Hellcat ended up joining. I'm like, oh shit, that's Omi and the Hellcat. They're like, who is that? I'm like, y'all don't know who Omi and the Hellcat is? <laughs> right. You feel me? So I said, bring him up. They broke him up. He's like, hey, what's up? You feel me? He's like, yeah, I, I catch up, y'all. You feel me? Drop your cash up. He blessed him, you feel me? And shook the room, literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He gave him like $20. I was like, 25 Like, you feel me? Slight shit. Which is and rare. You, you got to be blessed with something. On some, on some cool shit. Mm-hmm. So it was like, yeah, like it can change your life yeah. if you really network with it right. But after it started causing like drama, right. I was like, nah, I'm done with that shit. No, I, I think know. you gotta pick which rooms you want to join. Like yeah. uh, the Grand Cardone rooms, they're doing like 
give us a pitch of your business idea and mm-hmm. we'll win best and we'll become 50 50 partners or we we'll give you money yeah like so rooms like that yeah so, yeah so rooms like that i like and like real estate things that i don't know about but i want to get into and learn mm-hmm. about right. stock stuff like that I, I was messing with but those like smash a pass rooms right like, that's not for me. but yeah. a lot of those intellectual rooms like they have like hundreds of people exactly. in there, so it's like you it's you're rarely to gonna even it. get into the chat to even yeah. talk. You're gonna mm-hmm. have to you just sit there and listen. Probably take some notes. But I ain't gonna lie, I did learn a lot from Clubhouse, like like business wise with my business. Mm-hmm. It helped me out a lot. Shout out to Levin- Levinsky too. He helped me out a lot too. I don't. That's a hard worker right there, Levinsky. Yeah, yeah that boy. He's a lot of hard workers, like cameramans. You know, like Levinsky, her. Mm-hmm. KD and Luigi. Yeah. Like, Vince Herb is doing his thing. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's crazy because, like, we went to school with this guy. And mm-hmm. now he's like, you know what's crazy? A lot of what's us. Wasn't Herb doing those uh, videos, Sk- the white face, the white face thing? Yeah, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, I remember those. He used to play with his mom or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, now he don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now he's strictly yeah. music videos. It's crazy how you like you see everybody like come up in their own way. And it's crazy we all went to school true. together. All of us went. A lot all of people of that went to Springs, like when we all went to Springs, a lot of us is like doing some shit. You're right. Yeah, that's is crazy. I feel like, used to be my neighbor, man. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. I don't know because I don't know other people in other school, but like I feel like our high school like yeah. got the most people like coming up right now. Coming so up, that makes yeah. sense. A lot of niggas who come. I, a lot of niggas who's lit right now or like who's making their name. You feel me? Either they came from they, they they who's lit or like tapping in with other lit right. people they came from spring and yeah. i feel like that's because like we all like team players like you know I mean? all of us know each other but at the same all time of us they help each other that could also be like just like Imagine. where we stay because this is our side of the town right, right. people on the other side of the town probably like over there in the jail or, or like for a lot of them and all that other shit and, like they come i'm gonna be real they coming up too like a lot of them mm-hmm. like when people from that side you feel me they coming up too so it's like they probably feel the same way as us but at the yeah. end of the day, we all from Broward. We all do some shit. Right, which yeah. is good. Yeah. What's your thoughts on this? I heard uh, it was a guy named Lincoln, and he was talking about how girls. All right, so he said, so he's talking oh, about not. women are winning and they're <laughs> starting more business than men, and women support each other's businesses more than men will support other men. What's your thought on that? I feel like it's fifty fifty because. Like I said, like like he was saying, like people hate you for no reason, mm-hmm. and I feel like women, maybe like, sometimes hating too, but like yeah. a real genuine woman, like I feel like I got more supporters with women than men. Like I think that's how it really is. Like mm-hmm. men, I'm a yeah, woman. That's really a gender thing because women yeah. gonna support women and men gonna support men. Because think about it, a girl gonna open a boutique, clothes, lashes, bonnets. Us girls, we love that. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. we gonna need that. We that want that. True. Listen, when I made <laughs> some women's merch, that is the most money I ever fucking made oh, yeah, in like a week. Buy, yeah. I feel like women, women I feel like that. women's in like we a week. Spend. I'm like, God damn. Is, <laughs> I heard niggas this, though. I'm bad. I heard niggas though say, "Yeah, that nigga fresh, but I ain't gonna like that picture." Well, that's yeah, niggas would do that. I feel like they women do it. That's what I'm saying. Women, 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 men. women will be like, "Listen, that's cute." Follow. Even if I don't know a nigga. I'm like, damn, that nigga fresh. I'm gonna follow this nigga. Uh-huh. That happened to me recently. Some niggas will. Some I heard niggas be like, but that's gay. That's not gay, yeah. bro. Niggas be doing stuff Listen, like that. it's a nigga. It's a nigga from ATL. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up his IG right now. I'm, I'm gonna shout him out too, cause his shit hard. You feel me? I just followed him the other day. He show love. You feel me? I show love too. Like his name is. Let me see if it's gonna load. His name is Nayari. Dampier, you feel me? Big Dose. His his brand is called Dose ATL. His shit is hard. His brand is hard. You feel me? And I fuck with the fits he be putting on. Like you feel me? I be I be putting on shit like that slight piece too. So I'm like I'm gonna go follow him. You feel me? Right, man. Why not? Is he? I feel like he's a mutual. Yeah, right. I feel like you're like just, just, got, just because arm, exactly. Just, just because I got more followers than someone, that don't mean I'm just gonna be like nah, I'm bad. I'm above this. I nigga. feel like sometimes be a pride thing for men. It be it do be a pride thing. Yeah, bro. Listen, either. it is in my face. I went to 24 hour fitness and the nigga was like, oh, bro. I seen you on Instagram. You, you straight with me? Nigga like, bro, why you dick riding that man, bro? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, how is, what is he doing? Right. Why you, and then you gonna say, you gonna, you gonna embarrass your dog like that yeah, in front of people? Crazy. Like, that's lame as fuck. That's lame. Let the man be here and let him do what he You do. feel me? I, and then like, bro, me, anybody, anybody who noticed me in public, I'm like, oh, you, I'm like, yeah, what's your IG? Let me follow you back. It ain't no pressure, bro. Because right. at the end of the day, it's social media, bro. It's social fucking media. People, you go. 
people would take that people would take it like one thing i learned from social media because like bro, i learned a lot from a lot of shit bro because i'd be like a lot of shit be teaching me that's like bro social media bro that shit do not depict on how hard somebody fuck with you. Right. I got a homeboy who's been like this to me. His name's Sherman. That that nigga do not be on social media at all. Like he do got social media. You think I'm gonna feel some way if he and post my business on his story? That nigga better be on social media. He probably buying your shit anyway. Like mm-hmm. what? Or spreading right. the word. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, I know Sherman fuck with me a hundred and ten percent. Hundred and ten. Anybody who know me knows Sherman. You feel me? If I if I had a safe and nobody knew the passcode, Sherman would know the passcode. That's how close me and Sherman is. And me and Sherman barely even talk. Because he, he, we both got our own two lives. But that's still my day one. Since second grade. Shoot, that's where Who do you guys think is next? Virgil, when it comes to clothing brands or designers. The guy that left for me. Black. I would black say. Clothes. Probably the guy that left for me. Um, um, well, female-wise, I really feel like Estella. Estella? If everybody knows her, you know Estella. We talk about from Broward? Well, anywhere, really. Uh, it's would, a black owned business. I feel like her. Know, her plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> you know St. Louis? Marcus? Yeah, yeah, Marcus. Yes. I know Marcus. I, know I feel like him and this guy right here, like, you forgot. I, I was, my, I would say Adrian. Adrian before, 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 I, you, I, die. before yeah. I die. And then his shit tough. Yes. Before I die. He tough. Yeah. He tough. On. Plug in. It's a Stella shop of Stella B. Like, for women clothes, like, she actually doing it in this. What I love about it, she makes her own stuff. Like okay. she's making her clothes. Like, yeah, you could copycat her, but she's doing this yeah. herself. She's making prom dresses. Like she's really good with the sewing and stuff. I, I think she gonna pop. I'm just waiting for a boutique to come. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, besides Cole, we lit too. They lit as fuck. But I, the the three people, I'm a, I'm gonna be real. You feel me? All part of side. You feel me? Three niggas I look up to with this clothing brand shit is um. It would be Soul Boy. It would be um. He Lee. already popped though. But um, that's what I'm saying. I look up to him. You type yeah. shit. It would be Soul Boy. It would be um, Lee was with um. What's his What's his shit called? I think it's called Lee was. Yeah, it's Lee was. And it would be Richeza. Uh, Those are three clothing Richeza, brands. Richeza, I heard before because he's my old boy. Yeah. He has a clothing line. He's Georgia um, underrated, but he's yeah, I know he's to uh, Wealth Club now. Yeah. That's that's. And I'm gonna say I look up to them because I've literally seen their business like blow up. The, but, yeah, like, Honestly, blow up. there's some nigga named Kai too. I forgot his name, but he and Anderson kind of did the same thing. It's more, it's more people, right. but it's just like this is this is off the top of my head. It's off the top now, of my but head. some real shit. I feel like you got something with another lost child because I feel like a lot of people gonna feel that like whole slang, like Listen, that whole I, logo. I got, they gonna be like, I got yeah. so much. I got so much shit in my iPad. Like I got designs for the next two years. And that's how it starts. My iPad. But I feel like I want to release it all at once. It is like it shit takes time. That's a lot of bro. work and that's, but that's, a, that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of money. Right. Me? That it too. takes money to make clothes, you feel me? But at the same time it's like I gotta realize like I'm gonna just get like right now I feel like everything I drop is mediocre, you feel me? Uh-huh. I fuck with it, but I got some harder shit in my yeah. iPad. If you if I like you one that. of my homeboys when I show my iPad and you watch this video. You gonna laugh because I got some harder shit in my iPad. Bro. You ever thought about reaching out to some of those people? Like So Boy Andy, I can set that up with you. And um, I'm a boy Jeffrey. He's got his own thing too. Like he prints clothes and designs for people too. Type shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I am gonna need a um a manufacturer who um do good DTG and screen print down in Florida or like well, just in the U S. So I don't know if that would be a problem here or not. Nah, I just need somebody in the U S. Because overseas, the motherfuckers it takes too long. Yeah, you gotta choke their ass out. Well, yeah, I, I know how you feel that. Well, I, I've been around Jeffrey Edison when they talked about something like that. Mm-hmm. You have to wait for it to come in. Yeah. Sometimes it's a long, yeah, a whole bunch of nonsense. Bro, I remember one time me and Cloud9, me and Patrick, we was talking. We was talking. I was like, bro, it was, at, it was actually at King Sid's event. You feel me? We was like, bro, you got your boxes yet? I'm like, nah. He was like, your box is stuck in China too. I'm like, yeah, all of our. And you gotta give them bulk only. It's you not feel like me? You can get them like if you pay one, it's more money than yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All me, me, Katari, and Patrick, all three of us. Um, Katari on Exotic Apparel. Uh, Patrick on Cloud Nine. It was me with another lost child about from London. We was all at King City event, and it was like, bruh, all three of our boxes was stuck in fucking China. Oh. We would, and it was like, but it was a hold because it was like, bruh, you gotta realize we probably spent. During COVID or after COVID? This this was this this was like two months ago. When was oh, when was King City? I was about to say COVID. COVID. In the beginning of COVID, they wasn't really letting a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. Nah, this was this year. This was during King City event. Um, when he was throwing out the free merch and shit. 
Mm. What was it? The boxing thing he was doing? Or? No, it wasn't the boxing. He remember. had the, the football, the to football ask game. Me to do the female boxing. Oh, that was recent. Do I look yeah. like I want to be boxing some females? It was the it was the he football games one. Drugs. Mm-hmm. He wanted me to mess up my face. That's what he wanted. So oh, shout out Tucker too. Yeah. Thug, uh, her little brother. Yeah, Thugger. yeah. Thugger, Thugger USA. Yeah. 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 yeah, Thug. No, yeah, he, he, he do cool. Cool. Yeah. He, he like, cool. yeah, he like eighteen. Yeah. Like he's still or undie too. Like he's still. High Und- yeah, shout out to undie. Yeah, yeah shout out to undie. That boy Senior, yeah, yeah, them shit. boys. Them boys going big. Yeah, them boys um, doing that shit. You feel me? I also seen a sweatsuit logo called Big Stepper. I don't know who made that one, but they they That's sweat you? suits is That's tough. Good. They might want to change that name though. Big stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's like so broad. Like, it like, is, man. but you know, I kind of like that. On the website, that's not right. Yeah. That's why I didn't Google her website. I wouldn't even come up because right. everybody's <laughs> using big step of other things. All right, so, but but I don't know. You never know what somebody could do with it. Right. That and honestly, bro, talking about all this just maybe go back to like saying like, damn, this shit kind of feel good. Like everybody in Broward, I feel yeah. like a lot of people in Broward is doing some shit that's getting their name out there. Feel me? Right. I fuck with it. You feel me? Like every time it's like now nah, when I pop out or like when I come out, I'd be like, damn, oh yeah, I know this nigga, he do that business. Oh, I know this nigga, he do that business. Facts. It, it, I feel like it's lit. You feel me? I feel like that's lit. Because everybody doing something. Everybody productive. Right. Everybody, like you you could, you don't have to know somebody, but you can have something to talk about when you meet them because y'all both doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Y'all both could drop gems on each other. You feel me? Because you could always learn from something from somebody. Me, whether it's good or bad, so yeah. I just I just fuck with it. Honestly, I fuck with it. I like seeing people win. I love seeing people win. You feel me? So yeah, I fuck with yeah, it. Yeah, we ain't no haters over here. Type shit. You clear? <laughs> What's your thoughts on the? Uh, Except for that one nigga who don't like. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on drinking on uh, Kanye's album? I ain't listening. I ain't anything. listen to that one. I'm not Sorry, I'm a Drake fan, but oh, it, it it took me time. It's I'm still listening to this Certified Lover, but I think I got down to over. But I think I think I gotta wait like two weeks to battle because I was doing this like after twelve hours, like. But I just don't like like how beef gotta like you know they think like yeah. well it's like beef and a whole bunch of drama and then boom they drop an album and want people to pick a side. Yeah. Like why? Like, like, I didn't pick a side. You know what I did? I didn't pick a side. I didn't even listen. I say y'all both good at uh, where I y'all at. I couldn't. But um, both of them got bad songs. Both of them got bad songs. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It's music. There's nobody got a perfect album. Right. True. Everything relates to everybody differently. Like if that song don't relate to me, then it won't relate to you. You won't even like it. I mean, I still even listen to the the, the Dirk and Lil Baby album. Same. Yeah. Kind of album. Yeah, they dropped the mixtape like early. Mixtape, mixtape. Yeah. I, I still listen to it, but you know what I do? I, I um. I, li- I give it like three months and it, it like it's just something I, it's a pattern it's not like i do it on purpose i just let it that on you feel me right. and i start bumping that shit like even with future drop save me like future is like my favorite artist you feel me he's my top artist well he's on like that kanye drake that i'm too sexy or something yeah like, too sexy i'm about to say you know I, I made a tweet about that shit with <laughs> viral as fuck like i'm like damn I ain't nigga. Lie, shout out to that song though that song was doing numbers because i heard that everywhere i, I feel it video. Her Kawhi Leonard was on there. He's funny. Yeah, that shit was funny. Yeah, that shit was funny. I'm still confused. Why? Wow. Yeah, that, that's like that's like that's the man anthem for uh, WAP when you know how a woman had WAP. Yeah. I think that's gonna be our anthem for like confidence and stuff. That's gonna be my sexy. anthem, bitch. I'm too sexy for this. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? <laughs> Nigga, try to be man. I'm too sexy for that shit, man. Yeah. Y'all boys can have it. True. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. crazy. Well, my last question is, what are y'all thoughts on high value man? I know you guys started the conversation and stuff like that, so. From a guy's point of view and then the woman's point of view. Let's start with the woman. Wait, start with the man. Why not? What you mean high value though? Like, like high value man. Like, do you guys agree with Kevin Samuels when he was talking about that? I'm a high value man. I don't know what he said, but I know I'm high value. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, I, I only time I see I Kevin Samuels video. Has a different characteristic of high value. Because some yeah. people say high value. Yeah, cause some girls like a high value man is somebody that makes six figures a year. Or he has to be a certain high. Like, I think mm. everybody has shut a Shut the... Who right, said like, that shut shit? up. Man, that nigga gonna treat you so damn bad. Right, he gonna cheat. I'm not like gonna say he gonna say. do that, but gonna, if you if you base a man value off of what, what he, he makes, makes rather yeah. than what he is or, or like the type of person table. he is, yeah, you're, you're going wrong already. You feel me? Because it, it's, it's like, I'm not saying every man with a bag is a bad person. You right. feel me? I'm just saying, like, if you're basing that don't make how much valuable. money he's got, that does not make him valuable. 
It's some rich niggas who's a, who are crash dummies. Right. They just getting lucky. You feel me? Well, and it's like just you, so easy to bury them in it. After right. the years or ten years or seven years, whatever that state thing is, they mm-hmm. divorce them and take all the money or take half the money. And why go through all that turmoil and then trauma for some cheese? cheese. You don't get your ass barely out of cheese because like, you only getting what he giving. Exactly. But my my idol, high value man, it gotta be like. Someone who could like you know, who's smart, you know, who's got 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 a, got, got a good <laughs> head on their shoulder, you know, know how to treat a woman, you know, and somebody who's real, like they stand on their shit, like however they live in, like it's if you take me as I come or you know you get on, like you know I am who I am. I find that a high value man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So do y'all think y'all have value? I mean, you're supposed to if you don't. Then yeah, yeah I think everybody's supposed to feel that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got to bring something to the table. I mean, All right, so what's the high value woman to y'all, though? Like, what y'all feel is a high value woman? That deep burned out here. Let me start playing. No, <laughs> uh, loyal. Uh, won't give up on you. Make but it, it depends person. on what you put her through, Sam. For sure. Because I, I don't advise no woman to stay somewhere she ain't happy at. I yeah, say yeah. get gone quick. Yeah, if you ain't happy, you do yourself that well. favor. Yeah, that's um. true. And it's crazy how niggas, when you talking to girls, you some niggas are like doing them dirty and wrong. Yeah. But then when you have your daughter, you, you, you tell her the opposite of Yeah, don't do. let no man do this to you, da 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 and then you turn around and do it to her See, mother. Yeah, that's the craziest part about men sometimes. <laughs> I'm thinking about like parents mm-hmm. are thinking like, damn, do I wanna be a man like that or do I wanna be a man that I, that my own daughter's gonna respect me? Like, right. I think that over too. time you grow up off of that. And you life. know what's crazy? You're totally right, because, like the way I grew up, like I didn't I didn't see like yeah, I got older, I feel like I figured out some things with my, my mom and my dad relationship. But what as I seen when I was growing up, my dad always took care of my mom, made sure my mom was straight, you feel me? Like, he treated her like she was treasure, you feel me? And that's how I look at a woman who I consider mine, you feel me? Like, I'm not perfect. Yeah, I, I'm learning stuff. I'm, I'm maturing, you feel me? And I'm learning, like, how to be patient all this stuff, you feel me? I'm learning new shit on, like, relationship-wise. You feel me? Every year, everybody learns this shit. You feel me? Especially if you're dealing with a partner, you gotta learn. You gotta learn that person. You gotta know that person because everybody receives love differently. Everybody gives love differently. Love language. You feel right. Me? Exactly. You feel me? So you gotta really know that person, and you gotta like accept them for who they are if you're gonna be with them through certain things. I feel like so, sometimes in bad. life, that person you're dating, and sometimes it's coming into your life to help you or prepare you for the next person or the right person for you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. And that sucks thinking about it, but it's you gotta understand, bro. If the if it's if it's meant to be, it will come back. You feel me? Like a frisbee. Yeah. And I, that's crazy. <laughs> that's I just frisbee. told my yeah. I told my girl that today. I said, if you gotta let him go, let him go, because if it's meant to be, he will come back. No, yeah. he, it will happen. You make right. sure like, he gotta come back. No, he will. Y'all don't understand. When a man has a good woman, he knows that, and he is like nobody. Listen, when a girl got a good man, they know. They know too. Yeah, they know. exactly. That's why I said I gotta be a good man. They probably won't know it at first, but then when they do it, other <laughs> yeah. nigga like damn, look at this nigga. Bobby, Bobby, you treat me like this. Yeah, right, yeah. right. You know. <laughs> Like damn, shoot! Like and wake up calls, like a light bulb. Right, yeah. exactly. So that means that nigga we were talking about last time could be your future husband. Oh, ah! <laughs> because if it's right, it's meant to happen. It's gonna come back, right? No, I, I, like I said, I closed all them doors. Them doors locked. Shut, nah, it honestly, it done. depends on it depends on the foot y'all left out on. Yeah, left exactly. Off on and, and what happened? You feel me? Like, if somebody did you completely wrong, like some unforgivable shit. Exactly. Nah. Also, you can't. cheating to you is like. Cheating is very out, unforgivable. Can't I can't. Me. I can't. Bro, we can't. Your own husband, I can't. No. What, what? You're. I'm married and you cheated on me. No, like. Because people work things out. Sometimes. I'm leaving. People make mistakes. I'm leaving. The only situation that I'll have to say if I see my kids like need their fault. Like, you know, I'm going to do this for That's my what I'm kids. It's different when you have kids and you're That's married. it. But if I'm not. If I don't have kids and I'm married, I'm out of that marriage. My like, God. You're done. My dumb ass took a bitch back and she cheated on me. One you're time. crazy. She cheated on you again, right? And where's she now? Niggas, that Gone. was the end of that relationship because I was. <laughs> exactly. And that's me. Bitch, I'm going to show you my word. <laughs> exactly. I know my word. You know, I'm going to show you. 
that's I'm one, gonna hurt your but heart. That's, but that's you one thing I had to mind. learn. Like, I had to like stop. I like, that's like, gross. That's gross. Because it, it was like, bro, like, all right, you did me dirty, <gasps> but now nah, I feel like I gotta do this. Like, I'm not gonna do you dirty. It's like, fuck it, I'm just leave I'm it. I'm gonna leave, right? You know Karma like, be doing better than you. Like, Karma be doing better job. Exactly. Man. That's why I said I let Karma handle yeah. everything. Karma. That's why cheating is unforgivable. All that, like, all that, like you, you just man, 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 you pissing me off. All that I could look past it, but like, once you step out on me, like. What's not saying you ain't gonna do this down the line? Cause it was so easy for you to do it that time. It might be an even better one. But honestly, it's from. circumstances too, though. Yeah, I Leave. Um, it's so circumstances. I think I feel like you have to have a very mature mindset for yeah. you to make that work. If you're very young, mature, you're like, yeah. like, like, because it, 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 it cut. sometimes niggas just cheat for no reason, or and, sometimes uh, you don't know you cheated. Um, <laughs> but they don't like what they dish. Like they can't take what they dish out. I'm not gonna lie. When a girl cheat though. Y'all do it out of emotion, a, bro. Do it oh, y'all can't do the emotion card. Or okay, okay. No. I spoke to the women where they said. Because we still love our man. That's, that's good. The girl going to no. say, I love my man. I just love, you know. But look, but look, when you cheat, when you cheat, if you ever do cheat, I don't know if you ever did or not. I got you my tick for tat back on a few people. But, right, but I changed. You don't just do it to do it. You actually planned it out. No. Mm-mm. Okay. No. Planned it out. What, what, I mean by, what, about, for? what I mean by planning out is you thought about it like, mm-hmm. no balls at a know, club. I can see him. I'm gonna do something with him. Guys are usually like, oh yeah, they be like, in and out. out. Yeah, in and out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she right. give fuck. Yeah, exactly. When a woman is like, she got to talk to him, figure him out, see if mm-hmm. he's worth the time, see if he's yeah. smart, can I see a future. That's that's like, a woman moving on without like you know <laughs> ending what she got going on. She's just looking for that next one that's gonna you know replace this one. You know, cause you know. It's hard to find a legit man to move on to. So, you know, you keep this one. So let him think he's comfortable. No, you don't have a com- you don't have a backup. I know this girl. I know this one girl who be cheating, but she says she loves that nigga so much. She is and she not, probably do. She's not gonna let him go. What? Oh. She what? probably do love her man. Huh? Does he know or no? <laughs> oh. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be there. He knew. Know. Nah, some niggas will say. Oh, yeah. Shit. I'm just gonna cheat too. Or are they both cheat mm-hmm. on right. each other? Yeah, and is that see, type of relationship? what kind of relationship is that? Exactly, that's something you gotta learn from. Like I had to learn from that before. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat back, bro. Like you cheated, fuck it. I'm not gonna cheat this back. This is, this is, no, I don't. So no, now, I, I now if you cheat, <laughs> I'll just leave and then go do my thing rather than do my thing while I'm with you. Yes, exactly. Because you know, if I do my thing while I'm with you, I'm cheating. But if I do my thing while I'm not with you, I'm not cheating because I'm not with you. True. Damn, that's crazy. All right, man. Thanks for coming by, guys. Anytime. Thanks for having us. Anytime. For the sure. next time, hopefully we can get more of the game back together. All right. <laughs> or newcomers. Maybe we'll work something out. I'm going to hit her up. See if y'all. I'll let you want to bring her back. I, I want to bring, bring NWF through here. <gasps> oh, oh, we ain't talking talk about, talk about no music group. artists like shout out NWF. Right. Oh, let's talk about hair. Red Dot. Listen, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. well, I forgot who, but I think it was. I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they was out there. Yeah, they, yeah. Was, they was out there. Too. We should have brought them in. I, I, I see my top artists right now from Broward County, people who I would listen to, like, as a true fan, I'm going to start off at number one as at Trap Double R. I listen to Trap him. I yes, I listen that. to Trap yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. As from a, Broward? Yes, so. as a true fan, like, as a true fan. What about Red? FC, um, whatever his name, what his name is? Uh, F. Uh, it's all he. Yeah. Yeah. So, I listen to some of his music, some okay. of it, but I I feel like like you feel me. His music got a certain vibe. Like some of his music got the vibe I want to listen to. You feel me? Okay. I like even with like some, his other the other artists like Low Shimmy. I listen to like a couple of his songs. Oh, they have another artist named Low Shimmy. Oh, yeah. I know damn it. I didn't know Low Shimmy. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. yeah. So, he's sliding. He's sliding. But other than that, I got Trap Double R, Red Dot, K Money, Vizo. Clutch. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, Clutch, Clutch walked that song with um Red Dot, Red Dot and King Money. I fuck with Clutch. Clutch. But we was in Atlanta, we made that shit. We was in Atlanta, bro. I heard of we, Clutch, but we made I that never Clutch the song. Yeah. Clutch, Clutch, you got that. FSO De Niro, I had a moment. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you know Jado 38? Yeah. Jado. Jado was my last I, my last person who I was gonna say. Those like the five people who I would listen to, yeah, I would listen to them like. I like as a true fan, yeah. Shout out Styles. I don't know if you guys know Styles. 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 But the thing is, I don't really listen to music like that. 
I, I listen to the same song every day. Damn. G shit. My new song? I you I just told you I didn't even listen to Drake and the Lil Baby shit. I mean Lil Baby and Dirk shit. Yeah. I, get tired I don't right. I'll probably go on like a like you listen to a bunch of songs, but yeah. later I'm gonna get But sometimes I'd be wanting to feel that same vibe I feel. Oh, right. Like that's what it's like. I would listen to the same songs almost every day. You feel me? Like I like the music I listen to. It don't even be released. Like it be re- it be Bezo shit that don't be released. It be trap oh, shit, K yeah. Money shit, Red Dot shit. You feel me? Like some of this shit that I listen to, it don't be released. You feel me? But it's like same thing. Like with my clothing brand, where I feel like I got shit in the vault and I don't drop it. They be having like harder shit in the vault and they don't drop it. But I tell them to drop it because nigga, it's fucking music. It's not like you gotta like I know you gotta put money into it to drop it, but you don't. Gotta put that much money into it, like clothes mm-hmm. to drop. Like yeah. nigga, y'all don't drop that shit. I not call even it. that. Music is something sometimes it's, it's like timing, perfect timing. Yeah, perfect so, timing. Uh, what he was feeling and thinking that time. Yeah. Two years later, it might be a whole different di- energy of how he's feeling. It's just not gonna connect with people the same. Yeah. So he might as well drop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I be telling them boys that, like, but yeah, Red Dot, Bezo, Trap, K Money, Jado. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget greatness too. He he not a rapper, but he an artist. I right? got see, I gotta listen to more bro artists because bro, I I, I swear to God, I listen yeah, to the same. Yeah, we snapping right now. Yeah, I'm about to drop out. Bower Bower got bro Bower got some fucking talent, bro. Really. Bower <laughs> Bower stand up. What a what a what a boom button. Do 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 do. Bower stand up from Brown County, man. Shout out to Bower, bro. Brown County. Yes. Bower got that shit. No oh. dog catcher. Right. Bower got that shit, bro. And like so serious, like I, like, I, I, I wouldn't get brown tattoos on me. Let me stop. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I ain't got no yeah. one tattoo. I don't know about that DMR. But nah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll rep brown a hundred percent anywhere I go. You feel yeah. me? It ain't no shame sure. to say nothing brown. Hell no. Nah. You feel me? I fuck with brown. We got so much fucking talent. I just feel like we all need to come together. Like in a rap world, the boys coming together. Man. Right. The boys coming together. It's gotta be coming all, though. Like, I, are they all together? Are they all the people you just yeah. named? The, yeah. yeah, all the boys are linked up. All them boys probably got a song together already. You feel me? Like, right. bro, bro, I got that shit. I just, I just love like, if we get rid of this crab in the bucket mentality, you feel me? We could even start helping other people who are trying to get their shit up. You know, right. You feel me? All of us could help each other win, you feel me? All of us. You feel me? Like Broward just need to stick together, but I'm not about to be the one, the huh. bigger man. Uh-huh. I'm not about to be the bigger man. It's like y'all boys come either. together. I'm like fuck it, y'all moving like that. I'm gonna move like that. Right. Too. <laughs> I ain't no <laughs> over here. You feel me? But it's like y'all fuck with Broward. We got it's like I be popping out and I just like like I said, I'm, I'm observing. You feel me? I just be sitting back, peeping shit, looking at like okay, Broward is tough. You feel me? Right. Broward is hard. Like it ain't no place like Broward. G shit, and I just keep saying Broward, 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 Broward. <laughs> but it's like Broward is fucking tough because we got so much fucking talent. I can't, I can't Broward. emphasize yeah. it enough. We got so much fucking talent, clothes, music, DJs, hairstylists, DJs, nail tech, glasses. Nail we got it all. NUAs, videographers, mm-hmm. all of it. We literally have Models. every fucking thing. That is true. Though. If we come together, we can actually. Like everybody doing it, like yeah. everybody in a different field, but everybody, right. Everything, everything but everybody awesome. need everybody in a way. Yeah. Like everybody could benefit off each other. Just I want to one day, one day I want to get like a big ass venue, some shit like like how they do with on um, Rolling Loud, but strictly Broward people, yeah. like strictly Broward, like like a big ass venue, like small artists, big artists. Clothing brands, like all that shit, everybody in Broward just come to this one fucking place and it, like, Promotion. just strictly Broward, bro. Strictly yeah, Broward, bro. Yeah, that's how greatness be. Well, that's what greatness Yeah. Greatness. But see, greatness, I, I fuck with it. I completely fuck with it. You feel me? But just imagine, like, the shit that greatness do with a big, big audience, yeah, like right. a big ass venue. You feel me? Like, his shit is huge. You feel me? His, 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 his venue he got is big. You feel me? Because he got enough to fit the, the brands and the um, mic and shit. You feel me? So, like, see, it's like his shit, like this big. I want some shit the size of this table with all of Broward in it. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. Broward right. showcase. That'd be like, tough. Together. Type shit. You feel you me? Guys come together. I hope he see this so we so we can like probably talk some talk well, about Bert, it. Bert, no, like it that. sounds like so you, you guys can connect. Right. Yeah, yeah well, like um, bro. City of Market. I want, I want, I want everybody, I want everybody in Broward County to see this shit. I want everybody to fucking network. Everybody in Broward County right. to network. Like, fuck all the. Oh, I don't like this nigga because of this. I don't like the nigga that fuck all that shit, bro. If you're doing something positive to help yourself in life, bro, 
Right. I just want everybody in Broward County to just like stick together and like help each other out because we all got the tools that we need to win. Mm-hmm. Being real, right. Na- like we all could name probably two or three people in Broward who can help us get to where we need to go. And you got people like Sid, Nate. Yeah. They can Sid, so that so much fucking love, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I not gonna lie. He, I seen him bring a lot yeah. of people up. Like, He's genuine as fuck. Yeah. Sid, Nate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's about, so rough. You don't up. wanna plug in your other model, the one that's, that was in power? Oh, Zach. Shout Zach, Zach. Yeah, shout out to Zach. Shout out to Zach. He should have been here. Yeah. Work right here right now. Yeah, he's about to do some stuff with Luigi and stuff. Yeah. He, oh. He's doing movies and stuff. About to get back on power. Type shit. Oh, he's yeah. doing more on power. Yeah, I think it's, it's. I think after raising Kanan, it's about to be back with Tyreek and them. So oh, he's probably going to have okay. some cameo with it. That Tyreek one's better than the one for right now, but I haven't watched the past like the past like episode two, so maybe I got to. Man, watch. I start watching after they kill Ghost. <laughs> oh, you didn't see Zach he, when he's that came here. Nah, I seen his what he posts, but I ain't watched the show. <laughs> nah. See y'all veering off again. We gotta wrap this shit up. Oh <laughs> yeah, y'all. We do. Appreciate you for having us, though. No problem. Yeah. For the culture. For I the hope culture. everybody watch this. For the culture, <laughs> bro. County stand up. What's Let's up? go. For the culture.